WTFNN. Headline News Update. Trading up 27. NASDAQ is down 215. S&Ps are off 21. Gold. Gold contract down $8.70. Trading at 1776 an ounce. We have silver off 43 cents, twenty-one dollars ninety-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck seventy-five, seventy dollars sixty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up six ticks, trading one thirty thirteen. The thirty-year up sixteen at one sixty-one ten. And king dollar, king dollar is up three hundred and fifty-seven ticks, trading out at ninety-six two fifty. Euro at one twelve, yen at one thirteen and a half. And the British pound is at one thirty-two to one U.S. dollar. We get up and we take a look at the spy. This is going to get really wild tomorrow morning, folks. Because what you have here is this. So we get the inflation numbers coming out tomorrow morning. You know, bottom line, when you just think fundamentally that the inflation numbers got to be big, right? Well, the way this market is set up, this market wants higher price. You know, you're pulling back today. Look at this. You know, you, now, granted, we were talking about the volume yesterday. You're going higher yesterday with light volume, right? You're coming down with even lighter volume. So the bottom line is that what that's saying is that, guess what? The high is going to be tested again, which is that 473 inside the SPY. You know, yesterday, you had a contraction of volume. You get over the high. Not that you get over the high from the prior day with 72 million. We're at 38, so we're going to do like 54 or something, so you're going to back down with light volume. Pretty wild. NDX 100. Now, this is a little bit trickier, the NDX, and this is why. You're still backing down, but you got to a higher high. My take on this, same setup, meaning that you're backing down with light volume. Yesterday, we made, up, we made 30, 39 million at the high. You get 36 right now, so you're still coming into like 56. So this is still a back down with light volume. So... My take is that you're going to get into the bar. Now, the NDX 100 certainly doesn't have to go to the top of the bar. I think the S&P is going to go to the top, maybe it'll break the top. The Qs, I suspect it's going to be this 400 uh, area that it's four, it's four, it was 399.19 to be exact. That's where the failure comes. But the back down on light volume today is telling me, man, you know, this thing's not done yet. The thing that's wild is what I just said is that the, f the inflation numbers come out tomorrow, and it's like, okay, so is it going to say this, the inflation's not raging as much as we think it is? We're going to find out real quick, folks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow up 50, NASDAQ down 195, S&P's up 16, off six, down 16 and a half. Come right back. <laughs>